In this video, I'm going to be uh, opening the box of this uh, Lumex brand. Uh, it's called a SmartPod uh, projector. It is a uh, Pico projector. And what makes, what kind of sets this unit apart from other Pico projectors is that uh, it runs a version of Android which includes uh, down there in the lower left corner you can see the, the Google Play Store uh, which uh, that means that it has Wi-Fi integrated as well as Bluetooth and so that enables the projector as long as there is a uh, you have a, some sort of an internet Wi-Fi signal that enables the projector uh, to connect to media and stream media directly from the internet. And so in this video, I'm going to just be opening the box and showing the uh, contents. And then in uh, some follow-up follow videos, I'll be uh, making more, ex uh, I'll be demonstrating the unit uh, and kind of making more extensive uh, observations about it. Now one thing to note, this Lumex SmartPod also includes a, uh, it has a, on the top of the unit right here, it has a little touch screen that functions as a, uh, it's, well it's a touch pad rather, that functions as a mouse uh, so that you can uh, sort of navigate the uh, Android operating system. So let's get started opening the box. So I've slid the uh, cover off. So here's the box, and so far it looks like a very uh, nice packaging. Uh, so I'll pull on this little black tab right here that's magnetized, by the way, which is that's a nice little touch. Let's see. So here we have in the top. This is sort of a velvet-like uh, surface. And then we, so we have the projector itself. So I'm going to just temporarily set that to the side. And so then if I, uh, let me see if I can stand up. So I'll we'll raise the, uh, so this comes off. It's a piece of plastic that's covered with this velvet kind of like surface material. And then there's a, an inner box. And so there's another tab right here. So I'm going to lift the tab. Tab. There we go. We lift the tab, and so then inside we have a, it's a little uh, case. Looks like it's a little vinyl case that the project you put the projector into to protect it. If you're going to carry it in a briefcase, and then we have a that's an AC adapter. So there's the AC adapter, and we have a. Uh, HD, full-sized HDMI to the micro HDMI and what else do we have? We have a uh, remote control for the projector and then we have a uh, looks like it's a composite it's a, a composite video adapter so the standard RCA jacks for the older style uh, composite inputs as well as, let's see, this is a USB stand. It looks like it's a standard uh, micro USB cable. So the next step is to uh, take the plastic off of the projector itself and uh, examine it directly. So I've removed the uh, plastic cover from the uh, projector. And so taking a look at the front of the projector, you can see that uh, see where the uh, lens is, the projector lens, and then it, it looks like that uh, you have ventilation to the right. Spinning the projector around on the left you see a micro, that's a micro US or a micro SD card slot, and then that looks like a full-sized USB port, and 
and then you have the micro USB port if we can get this to focus properly and you have a VGA HDMI uh, and then you have AV uh, which that that would be where that composite adapter would plug in and you have a headphone jack and then uh, the DC in for the AC adapter then you have the on, on, spinning it on around there's the on off switch and then the uh, there's a little focus knob and then back around you have the uh, lens and then on the bottom you have a uh, looks like that is a standard uh, jack for a mount for a tripod to mount that onto a tripod and it does some of these projectors come with a little tripod uh, like you park, you know you can put it up on a little table I this one doesn't come with that but I've got a couple of those that I've gotten with other uh, devices over the years so I will you know don't really need that uh, to be included and then of course on the top you have the uh, this is where the uh, touchpad slash mouse is so on the packaging it said to be sure and charge you know charge the projector up before its first use so I'll be uh, plugging it in that's going to be my next step is to plug it in and charge up the, the built-in battery to full charge before I actually use it so I'll